Just slam it. Let it be it. See if they come out and get it. Here comes one. Nice. Got him. Nice. That was fun to watch. And that's a little brother. There we go. Feels double like it. Up. There we go. Double. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. It's probably a decent problem. Get to him before the wind blows me off. Hey everybody, Jason with Strike 3 Fishing. Thanks again for tuning in to the channel. Today I'm with Keith Williams with Mark Twain Guy Service here at Mark Twain Lake. Uh, he's also with Brush Pile Jigs. And today's video is going to be a lot different. We're just going to kind of sit here and talk to you about our wintertime crappie setups that we use here at Mark Twain Lake. Our our reels, our line setups, uh, our, our jig heads, and we're going to talk about our baits we use. So it's going to be kind of a short and sweet video, but uh, Hope you guys and gals enjoy it, so let's get started. Keith, let's go over what your setup is whenever well, you crappie fish here in the wintertime in Mark Twain Lake. Well, on Mark Twain Lake, the majority of the time at this time of the year, I am using a 10-foot ACC crappie stick with 15-pound sniping braid line and a 1,000 ardent reel. That's kind of the setup that I use, the reason that I do some of it. The line and the rod. I'm looking for something that's fairly stiff so I can get these fish up and flip them in the boat. Last thing I want to have to do in the wintertime is use a net. I want them in the boat. Most of our crappie are not huge, so anywhere from a 10 inch to a 13 inch crappie, I have absolutely no problem flipping in the boat at all. That's just how I do it every time. I don't ever even get a net out. And we are using the Thumper Dwarf Pillhead, which I got stuck in the cork right now, I can't get out. <laughs> but I'm throwing the Thumper Dwarf Pillhead, I throw it in an eighth ounce most of the time because our fish, unless the fish gets high in the column, as soon as they get down around seven, eight foot, I like to go to the eighth ounce head. It, the colors for me with the thumper is I like pink, I like gold nugget, and I like granite, I believe it is called. Yep, right. That's the three that I go to 90% of the time, and that pretty well covers all my... Mark Twain does vary a lot in its watercolor, and it covers, covers all of them for me. Um, besides that, a couple other little tricks that I do is I do put a drop of super glue on the front of the jig, and then put the plastic up against it, and I mean just a drop. And generally, with these brush pile jig bodies, I can get a full day, if not close to it, out of one body. The most I have to go to is a second one. It, and it just don't happen all that often. And generally, generally at this time of the year, we're catching 70, 80 fish a day. Right. So they stay on really well, and they're a very durable body. This whole setup, I really like it a lot. I have no affiliation with ACC or Ardent. It's just stuff that I came up with that I like. And I that's why I hooked on Ardent. He did. He got me hooked up on the arts, <laughs> but I like them. They work for me. I'm hard on stuff, and they last. I have never had a complaint from a customer. They've all Absolutely. liked them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my setup is kind of similar. I mean, I'm using a 10-foot Edgar medium heavy Thatcher Waymire signature series crappie rod here. It's got a great backbone. It's got a great tip. Like I said, we're not catching them big, huge two-pound crappie here at Mark Twain Lake. You not know, too often. We'll catch them. 12 inches every once in a while, so you know, maybe a 13, but this setup for me works great. It gets the fish in the boat. Uh, I'm using the 15 pound sniping braid as well. I'm using the uh, Arden Finesse 1000 reel. Uh, I'm also using the 8th ounce, for the most part, 8th ounce Thumper Dwarf Strike 3 Fishing Signature Series jig head. You know, I'm throwing some Wild Willies OCD plastics um, along with Brush Pile plastics as well. Uh, I talked to a lead from Brush Pilots last weekend, and, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of throw both on my channel, so you're gonna see both uh, you know, Wild Willies OCD and some Brush Pile plastics being used on the channel. Um, so uh, Wild Willie's got the wall bash out; it's 1.6 inch bait, uh, and he's got the old waggy wiggler that we've been throwing for over a year now. Um, all these baits that he's talking about from Brush Pile and these Wild Willie baits, they're all the smaller, smaller baits, and that's yep. what they're wanting right now here at Mark Twain Lake. Um, seems like you put a two, two and a half inch bait on right now, you just don't get a bit. They just follow. So, uh, really like that uh, 15 pound sniping braid. That's just my go to size. Uh, do you use 15? I use 15 and 12 both. I'm, I've stepped up to 15 lately. Right. 
I just I like the way it sinks. It sinks good. The lines, it's reasonably priced. Right is the main reason I got it. it it's there's no big deal. Whatever braided line you like, sniping braid just the one we've gone to because of the reasonable uh, price. And also it, it lasts. I'm getting I get six seven months out of it. A sniping braid is high vis yellow. Yes. So I just kind of I used that high vis yellow crappie fishing years ago using high vis monofilament yep. during the spawn. I just stuck with it. Uh, you don't have to have high vis yellow, but that's just what what we are using. Um, and those thumper pill heads, like we're talking about, those dwarf heads, uh, they're actually going to be on Thumper Jig's website here shortly. You know, whenever you get uh, hung up here at Mark Twain Lake, which we do quite often, because we're fishing a lot of pole timber and structure, you know, you can pop that hook off. It might bend a little bit. All you got to do is bend it back. And, you know, we can bend it back 20, 30 times before it, before it even breaks, if it does break. Yeah, we want it to bend. Yeah. That's what we're after. Yeah. We want a hook that has a little give to it, just so we can get it, we don't break off as much. Right. That's how I do make it through for a full day with only one head. Absolutely. Because, you know, if you got a real stiff hook, you're going to pretty much break off and then you're going to have to retie a new head on all the time. So we like that little flimsier hook where you can pop it off, bend it back, and all that good stuff. So Not the cheap import hook that bends just from setting a fish. Right. Fish. It will not do that. Right. No. These hooks are pretty well built hook. They're stout enough that they hold up to the fish. Like I said, I boat, I have boat flipped two and a half pound fish on this lake with it and not had a problem. Right. It's you know, not often because I don't get a lot of them that size here. Right, exactly. With so, the 12, 13s that we catch quite often, you won't have a problem boat flipping. Absolutely. This is just our setup that we're using. The Thumper Dwarf Pill Heads do come in a 1 16th ounce and an 8th ounce right now. So those yeah. are the two uh, sizes you're going to get on the on the Thumper Jigs Dwarf Strike Big Fishing Signature Series pill head. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. You know, put in the comments below what your favorite uh, wintertime crappie setups are. So, uh, thanks again for tuning in to the channel. Uh, hope you enjoyed this little short video. Stay tuned here in a couple days. I'm going to have another fish catching video from last Friday out. So, you don't want to miss that one. And uh, we'll see everybody on the next video.